people want to solve problems as opposed to better understanding the lay of the land or the, mm -hmm. what Mary Parker Follett used to say, the law of the situation. What's, mm -hmm. you know, what is the situation? What are the dynamics of going on? And, uh, you know, for me in the re-engineering world, it's always how do people see things? You know, what's their perspective? What do they see mm -hmm. as opposed to what they, but we've, we as humans have, you know, sort of gotten into this solution based everything. If something looks like it's going wrong, We've got to fix it as opposed to understanding it. Yeah, solution. Do you, do you want to? Yeah. Do. <laughs> what do you? How do you deal with that? And and I know it's always been a challenge for me, and it's getting worse and worse as time has gone on because everybody's got an answer from the internet. We, well, I know how to do that. Well, did you ever do it? No. Okay. Well. Well, so I always didn't fail to, enough, you know. Yeah. So. Well, I always used to joke, uh, you know, and this I think this has been maybe you know my uh, just living within the profession and understanding how you know maybe accountants, CPAs are wired. I always uh, was concerned that you know for many practitioners I worked with that the perspective was that given a good book and a long weekend I can do anything. And going, that's not quite the way that works. I mean, there yeah, are people who live in this stuff all day long who bring experience yeah. and, you know, really a lot of history to, you know, wisdom to the conversation. And so it's not just a good book and a long weekend uh, that will help us, you know, conquer all. But you're right. I mean, you know, the, the internet, you know, today, internet 2.0, we think of it as the, the internet, you know, the internet of information. And, uh, and so, you know, 1.0 connected us together. 2.0, you know, is the internet of information. You think of answering any question from fixing the laundry, you know, uh, dryer to, you know, uh, you know, a leaky faucet to, you know, how, uh, you know, I'm getting this error code in my software. And, and so it's a great resource for information. We could Google or, you know, do a, a, a web search for virtually anything. And so, and I do like, you know, thinking about, you know, internet 3.0, it'll be the internet of value and, you know, kind of the journey toward that, uh, that we're all kind of underway on. Uh, but but like I said, you know, it's uh, it's really it's not just information, it's wisdom, uh, it's perspective. Uh, you know, I always look at it and say, you know what, uh, when I'm, you know, uh, engaging with with our client base, you know, I think it's as important to share, you know, all the things that we can achieve as well as the things that we're probably not going to be able to, uh, you know, it, it will do this, it won't do that, because it's the won't part that potentially will continue to impact the, the business, the process, whatever it is. And so it's important to understand, you know, what we can't do or what's not doable, you know, given, you know, the approach versus all the great things that, that we can do. And I think too, too often we get enamored with, you know, all the can do uh, and not fully appreciating that, you know, at the end of the day, I got to live with the entire thing. And I, it's important to understand what's not going to be you know, possible, but all of this is around process. And I look at this and I say, uh, you know, today, you know, the, the, the process or just, you know, kind of the sequence I described of, you know, what's, what's the, the challenge, the impact and the, uh, you know, the ideal solution, you know, as I think about all of that, it's a, it's a lather, rinse, repeat kind of exercise we can do around process. So it's a, it's a matter of saying, think about each of the things we're doing, where are the opportunities to be more efficient, more effective? And we're going to have a sense for that because we're going, oh my gosh, that's just, you know, I, I do this and it takes way too long and it's frustrating and it's inaccurate. And, and, you know, gosh, if I could fix any one thing, that would be it. And it's like, well, then let's focus on that process and let's bring, you know, some, some discipline to that, you know, and let's cycle through that. Let's look for process improvement. And then incrementally, you know, I say, you, you don't ever eat the elephant you know, whole, it's one bite at a time. So it's a matter of saying, you know, I want to be in a better place six months, a year, 18 months from now. And that's going to happen because we've got, you know, kind of a repeatable process we're stepping through and saying, let's bring improvement. Let's, you know, kind of, and in each step along the way, you're going to free yourself up to focus more strategically and, you know, move away from all that tactical stuff.